Last night, Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson broke his extended silence when uh, details of his testimony before the grand jury were finally leaked, and there was a common thread throughout. It was how goddamn terrified he was of Michael Brown. Uh, so here are some of the examples of that. These are not all of the examples, just a, few, a select few. Uh, Darren Wilson described feeling small when he gripped Brown's arm to try to stop the blows. When I grabbed him, the only way I can describe it is I felt like a five-year-old holding on to Hulk Hogan. Jesus, uh, fuck when God. I grabbed him, by the way, let's just be clear about yes. that. Yes. After that first shot went, and that was, those are his words. After that first shot went off, Wilson testified that Brown stepped back and looked up at me and had the most intense, aggressive face. The only way I can describe it, it looked like a demon. That's how angry he looked. Oh, I already hit it. It looked like a demon. Like what a the demon. fuck's a demon? A demon's not that? a real thing. Demon's not and after real. that first shot went off, which I believe hit Michael Brown yeah. in the hand. Right? We don't know. It was a grazing wound, apparently, at very close range. So maybe he looked like a guy who'd just been shot. shot. Yeah. Uh, he testified yeah. that after briefly chasing Brown and his friend, again, chasing, Brown turned around to look at him and made like a grunting, aggravated sound before running at him. Grunting, aggravated sound, grunting. again, the sound of someone who might have been shot. shot. Yeah. Or if you're trying to portray the person as an animal, those are words that you might use in that case as well. At this point, it looked like he was almost bulking up to run through the shots, like it was making him mad that I'm shooting at him. It should have been wow. making him are mad. Why were you shooting at him? him? And like, the, where's the point? Was he running at you with a fucking Why are you getting action? mad? I'm only shooting you. And the face that he had was looking straight through me like I wasn't even there, I wasn't even anything in his way. Or maybe he was looking through you because he Jesus, was dying from Jesus, it's George fucking Bush and Vladimir Putin. I hadn't read any loss. of this. I hadn't yes. read any of that stuff. Yes. He looked into his soul. He knew just what he was thinking. I just shot him and he was so pissed. Yeah. He was he, so angry. He looked Jimmy, so detached. I punched I him shot in the more. face and I kicked him in the balls and I hit his face and I hurt he his He gave nose. me the dirtiest look. And then Jimmy exactly. was like, you fucking asshole. So, and get, then based on that look, so he continued Jimmy. shooting at him. He so, continued shooting at him. And by the way, we have to, we have to point out one more thing. I don't, we don't have time to go into all the shots, but, uh, and this is consistent, consistent with Dorian Johnson, Michael Brown's uh, friend's uh, example, uh, testimony about what happened. The final shot was in the top of Michael Brown's head. He had collapsed. Dorian Johnson says he didn't go to his knees as he died. He simply collapsed. There was nothing holding his body up. But Michael, uh, but Darren Johnson or Darren Wilson was so scared of him, even at that point, that he continued to fire as the man was falling to his death and shot him through the top of his it's head. It's weird that Darren Johnson with Darren Wilson was tall enough to shoot him in the head, since one guy was a five-year-old and the other guy was the Incredible Hulk yeah. or Hulk Hogan or whatever. Yes. The fuck so you is. you don't buy his account of what happened. So here, just let me give you. I do buy it, and it's the kind of I buy it completely. I'd be like, wow, that's your version. Mm. I'm gonna arrest you for murder. Yeah, or at the yeah. very least go to trial. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, yeah, arrest him. He right. said, I was scrambling, trying to get his arms out of my face and him from grabbing me and everything else. He turned to his, if he's at my vehicle, he turned to his left and handed the first subject. He said, here, take these. He was holding a pack of several packs of cigarillos, which was just stolen from the market. Here, hold these. He's trying to make me believe that Michael Brown is inside of a cop car beating the fuck out of a cop goes, wait a minute. Hey, could you hold these? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna yeah. get back to beating this cop now. The cigarillos from the robbery that according to the police chief, he had no knowledge of at that point. If and yet for some reason is influencing his actions during so this time. If you have any kind of bullshit detector, it should be flying off yeah. right now. Here's the, Can, here's the next thing that he says. He says, when he stopped, he turned, he looked at me, like grunting noise, the most intense, aggressive you, the thing that you just read, mm -hmm. right? He also started running at me during his first stride. He took his right hand, put it under his shirt into his waistband. I ordered him to stop and to get on the ground. He didn't. I fired multiple shots. After I fired the multiple shots, I paused a second, yelled at him to get on the ground again. He was still in the same state, still charging, hand in his waistband, hadn't slowed down. Now, the stuff about the waistband, he already said he knew he didn't have a fucking gun. Mm. So what's the thing? And why would a guy... And he didn't have a gun. And he so didn't. why would he put his hand in his waistband? Why would he do that? Possibly to staunch the blood flow from the multiple bullet wounds he had. It's just bullshit. It, it, literally an unbelievable story makes no fucking sense. Yeah. No, so no maybe sense we should go to trial. It makes no sense that we don't even know how many... Do we know how many times he was shot? The autopsy told us at least how many times he was hit. I thought right? it was... Oh, shot at? I believe it was 12, like 12 shots, shots at. Six hits. Uh, I believe I could be off by one. Six hits, and he was still running at him, but we don't know 
if he was closer on any of the shots. Yeah. I thought we had a... He fired 12 shots, hit him six times. An unarmed guy you shot six times. Yeah. You would yeah, think by the way, he also missed six times. Now, they've been talking about uh, him being a possible menace and endangering people's lives. I would argue firing wildly in a residential area could also endanger people's lives. But people don't seem to have a problem with uh, Darren Wilson right. doing that. Yes. And so you were talking about your bullshit detector. Let's activate that bullshit detector one more time. Let's bring up these pictures here. And by the way, remember, Darren Wilson saying that he was feared, he feared that one more punch could kill him. So that's what his face looks like. The 350 plus pound guy was hitting him so hard that his face is lightly red. Less so than when I play volleyball at the beach without sunscreen for a few hours. Hey, look, man, you know, I'm gonna- He had a leave I'm for gonna, it, that's I'm gonna disagree got. with you. That's a guy who looks like he got punched in the face. But the fight- But not that was about to die from it. The, the, that's missing the point. This is, to me, the same point as the cigarettes. That fight was over. That fight was over. That fight was yeah. over. It doesn't matter. That fight was That's over. That's a guy who I would arrest afterwards for assaulting a police officer. Yeah. Right? That's what you do. If yes. You arrest him, you assault a police officer, and Michael Brown then would have gone to prison because that, because you can't assault a police officer. But that's not, that's not what that was. And by the way, we knew what his name is. You had the other kid. You had, like, you know he doesn't have a gun. It would have taken the, well, the Ferguson police probably would have taken them weeks to find Michael Brown, but a normal police force <laughs> would have been able to find Michael Brown in an hour. Yeah. yeah. In an hour. Mm -hmm. And they find him and they arrest him because yeah. he assaulted yeah. a police officer and right. stole some cigarettes. So this was a guy, this was uh, Darren Wilson. He snaps. He's, uh, and he says, I'm going to kill this kid. I'm going to, I'm going to use, how fucking dare this black kid, right? I'm the authority. And again, you're supposed to, we're all supposed to believe that Darren Wilson uh, is just driving down the street, minding his own goddamn business, yeah. and all of a sudden, the 17-year-old black kid decides, who's on his way to college, and high, by the way, which makes you passive, decides mm -hmm. to beat the fuck out of a cop yeah. for no reason yeah. in the middle of the street. And then he says that Michael, uh, that uh, Michael Brown, when Darren Wilson said, I went for my gun, he goes, oh, you're too big of a pussy to shoot me. Who says that? Yeah. That did, none of this shit happened. And by the way, Michael Brown had actually just robbed the store. If you were leaving the scene of a robbery and a cop came up on you, would you first tell him to go fuck himself when right. he tells you to walk on the sidewalk, and then when he pursues you, you lunge into the car to take his gun when you've just committed a crime? That's insanity. By the way, uh, he said a five-year-old boy and Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan's a big guy. Michael Brown was a big guy. He weighed a lot. Uh, I just saw it on TYT Live. I went and checked it in the Daily Mail in England. You know Darren Wilson's height and weight? Yes, I do. I don't actually. Darren Wilson. Darren Wilson, six two. Uh, I've seen this said six two two twenty. The the Daily Mail online says six four two ten. Either way. Okay. Yeah. Either yeah. way. He's a big guy. Either he's way, gigantic. Darren Wilson is a can handle. Darren Wilson is a strong safety. And in he's the a NFL. cop. He's not yeah. a computer nerd. Yeah. He's a fucking cop who's six two or six four. Yeah. And you're you're. <laughs> Again, again, but the thing that bothers me so much is that this is all happening in plain sight. Just like, at least Trayvon Martin, you can literally blame it on incompetence of a prosecutor and knuckleheadedness of a jury. There was actually a trial. The racism so, of a jury. So, yeah, so at least, at least you had a trial, you gotta think it, this isn't even gonna go to trial. This is, and this is all happening out in the open.